my crazy butt. Um, uh, in this episode, I kind of want to talk about the reasons why I'm terrible at dating. Like, I'm not dating compatible. Like, I do the most absurd and craziest of things. Um, I also thought I'd introduce people to my really dark sense of humor, because I do have a really dark sense of humor. Twisted, I am. Um, so, basically, like, one of the things that I, I, I'm really, really bad at, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who's terrible like this, I'm not really good at being romantic. Like, I'm really, really bad at it. Um, uh, for example, let me, let me start with the first story. Okay, so I was 13. It's not like I was seriously dating, you know. Sorry, Mom! <laughs> um, but, you know, I didn't take it seriously. I was just like, oh, this will be fun. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do in high school or whatever. I wasn't really thinking much about it. Personally, I was thinking about far other things like saving up my money, uh, getting an apartment. I had an absurd little mind. Um, so, at 13, we were on the phone, and he's like, I love you. And I go dead silent. I'm on the payphone line. Yeah! No, I know. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go home. I'm going to do some homework. Oh, what are you going to tell me? <laughs> and all he could hear was my panting and breathing, and I didn't know what to say to him at the end because I didn't mean it. And I never wanted to say the words, I love you, unless I meant it. Apparently it works the other way around. Um, but he got quiet, and he goes, too soon? And it's kind of like... Uh, ooh, and even at that age, I understood I am stepping all over his heart, and just like, nah, nah. like I understood exactly what was happening, and I was just sort of like, all right, quickly retaliate, fix, 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 fix. So I immediately just come up with, it's not that I don't love you, um, it's just like I love you as a person, I love you as a friend. Um, I just feel like that version of love like romance um i just feel like that's a little serious for us and we're like really young you know i feel like we're too young to know what that is i feel like we can enjoy each other's presence you know like i had probably the most adult response to that and i'm pretty sure he was sitting there on the phone because he was more of a teenager in his head than i was and it was just probably like, so you don't love me no i do and i sound like one of those douchebag dudes who were like I love you, but not like, not like I love, love you, you know what I mean? Like, it just sounded terrible. And I'm absolutely just terrible at these things. I didn't even see the build-up to it. Maybe there was no build-up. But I, I'm the same way still to this day. Like, I'm terrible at these things. Like, some dude could be hitting on me in a store, like, you know, you're beautiful. And it'll take me a minute to process. I'll be looking at something. And my immediate reaction is actually to move out of the way, because I assume he's talking to the girl behind me, and I'll just slide. Miss, I'm talking to you. Oh, me? Oh, 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 yeah, thank you. Thank you. Like, I don't know how to process that. And usually just looking at me like, and where is this going to go? And I just, it doesn't, it does not register whatsoever. Like, I'm really terrible. Unless I decided before you see me, I have interest. Like, mm -hmm. ooh, candy. Like, otherwise, it's not going to process. Like, I went to, um, I was out in Queens one time, and my best friend saw this dude. He was, like, this really tall dude. And apparently, he was hitting on me. And I didn't even realize, because he was so tall, all I saw were legs. Like, that perfect, you know, um, BJ job, uh, that joke that guys like to play. Like, oh, well, you know, I'm really tall. You're perfect for that height. Like, that's exactly where he was. And I didn't notice him. All I saw was a pair of legs. Like, oh, my God, it's giants! Like, that's all I thought. And meanwhile, apparently, he was hitting on me. And I'm standing there. I'm down there, to be fair. He was eight feet tall, practically, and he's hitting on me, and I'm just sitting there sipping on my... It's kind of some cool music. It's a nice restaurant. Like, you know, that's what was going on in my head, and then I just casually walked away from him, and my best friend says I do this to people all the time, but it's not because I'm trying to be rude. It's because I honestly, God, do not hear you talking to me, and if you do not go, Chantal, I will not be like, oh, me? Because if I see someone talking, I just assume they're not talking to me. And I just kind of just back up and... He's talking to you. You know, and I'm like, no idiot. He's trying to talk to you. Like, oh, oh. Hi. Like, I'm, I'm really bad at these kind of things. Um, the other, other things that I've done when it comes to being terrible at being romantic, there's this one dude that I really, really liked, right? And um, he, he walked like Popeye. It's the truth. He really did. He's like this. 
Like, that's how he actually walked. I'd always spot him out in the crowd from, like, a mile away. I'm like, there goes Popeye! <laughs> he has no idea what was going through my head. Because every time I would see him, I'd have this big smile on my face. Like, you know, but meanwhile, in my head, I'm like, I'm Papa the Sailor Man. Poop, poop. I'm Papa the Sailor Man. Like, that's what was going through my head. I just never told him. I hope he's not watching. He's not watching. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, um, <coughs> the closest thing I could come up with to, like, trying to compliment him I was trying to tell him, like, there are a lot of things I like about you. Like, you're quiet in the morning. You're not very naggy. Um, it's a good thing that I haven't found you aggravating yet. Like, I'm so terrible. Like, that's me being romantic, like, buying flowers. Like, that's, I'm so terrible at it. Like, I'm really bad. And he would look at me like, what does that mean? I'm like, because I'm really allergic to anything but testicles and I see this kind of going. Like, I'm allergic to women doing this can't stand it, I can't stand it, but if you're a man and you're doing this, are you supposed to be a man and you're doing this, and I just, that's a no-no, it's a big no-no, mm -mm. mm -mm -mm -mm. don't like it, uh, I can't, I really can't stand it, I can't stand nagging, <coughs> or conversations that make no sense, in a sense, like, you're just talking, just take up air and sound, opposed to just kind of, kind of just enjoying the silence, so much can be said in a moment of silence between the two individuals without words, but you have to be willing to communicate um however you know th those are things that i'm just really really bad at like i didn't know how to tell him like your eyes are so beautiful like i can write poetry i got books published like you know <laughs> like that's not the issue it's just that sometimes i don't want to be poetic and then i put on my um uh, my testosterone level like just kind of increases too much and i start going caveman style like you know naggy me lucky you quiet me lucky like that's as far as i can go when it comes to be romantic um, I can come up with like really great Christmas gifts if I feel like it, you know, but I'm terrible at re remembering anniversaries. Really bad at that. I had this one ex who um, one time he actually, I would get in trouble often. Like, you don't remember our anniversary? You forgot our anniversary? Side note, I, I dated except one really, really, really feministic males. And I don't mean like feministic, like that supposed way. Um, I mean feministic as in they did the classic female things that only I was supposed to do. Like they had more estrogen points on their veggie card than I did and that's not even cool. So he, um, <coughs> sorry, I'm sick. Um, one time he had, uh, <coughs> give me a minute. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. I had a coughing fit. I don't know what happened. My body just turned against me. Um, probably because they shouldn't be telling the story, but I guess I'm still gonna do it anyway. <laughs> um, like I was saying, I would forget anniversaries, and a lot of my exes they would always accept the except the Popeye one. Um, <laughs> um, they'd be like, "You forgot our anniversary again," and I got really smart, fellas. Listen to me. If you want your girl to think that you remember the anniversary, go out, take like fifty bucks, buy every anniversary card you can, pre-fill it out. Just spend like one afternoon, just. Filling it out. Sign it. Have all the little hearts and everything. Because even if you forget the gift, the card is there. And, you know, so what would happen is that my ex, he came up to me and he was like, oh, so you forgot our anniversary, obviously. Okay. And I was kind of thinking, like, you don't even like me anyway because you fight with me half the time. Like, what you mean I forgot the anniversary? What's your problem, bro? And I had to, like, play it off like, honey, I'm the woman. Obviously, I did not forget the anniversary. Okay. And like I used any excuse I could to get outside. Like, oh my god, we're out of soda. I'm gonna go run to the farthest store near the pharmacy with cards in it to go buy the soda. Okay? I'll be back in 30 minutes. Like that's as far as it got. <laughs> like it was terrible. So I went out and I bought all these cards and I came prepared because the next time he came ready to fight with me, like, oh again, 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 you forgot our anniversary. I was like, what? I was hiding a card from you, baby. I love you. Like, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really bad at these things. I don't remember those kind of things. Um, and it's weird because I feel like as a female, I'm supposed to do certain things, but I just, I don't. I have a really high level of testosterone. That was a booby joke. I hope you guys got it. Ah! Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's just weird. And I kind of just feel like, you know, this is, this is what happens when I go dating and people just look at me like, what's wrong with it? I'm like, I'm blunt and I'm full of fun, but I'm also incredibly creepily quiet. You know, like I'm worse than a monster's crossed over with the Adams family. And, you know, and I can't help myself, and that's okay. The other thing that, um, is that I, like, when it comes to the mornings, I don't like talking. I love my men the way I love my mornings. Silent. 
And I think I've said this one before. Um, <laughs> and no, I'm serious. It's very true. Like, I like to be able to sip on my tea like I pretend I'm an aristocrat. Hmm. I wonder what I will be doing for today. Like, I pretend I'm planning my day, but honestly, I don't. When I run out the house, I'm looking at my phone like, what am I doing today? And I'm supposed to be out at this hour. Oh, is it, oh how am I supposed to get over there? Like, that's, it's, that's just how I am. I'm an artist. I'm a little flaky like that. <laughs> um, but, you know, the thing about it is just like, in the morning, I think I'm supposed to like do like romantic breakfast. And I'm not really good at that, like heart-shaped stuff. I'll just, I mean, I can barely draw. <laughs> okay, so like, like, oh, you didn't do romantic breakfast. And I'm like, I made you eggs, pancakes with steak with a screwdriver that eat I cook me woman me cook me give you like I'm <laughs> I'm really bad at these kind of things and that's that's just how I am when especially when it comes to dating the other thing that I'm really terrible at is being blunt like I actually had an ex-boyfriend when we broke up I told him you know let's be mature about this let's talk about this I want to know um how we can move forward because i want you to have a great relationship in your next relationship i don't want you bringing the baggage from here into your next one talk to me tell me give me more tell me more tell me more and we can exchange this and talk about this like adults his response was well now that you've asked you don't beat around the bush like other women there i've said it you just tell me why you're angry and i remember kind of just going what like it just wasn't processing and then i realized with all of my exes they hate the fact that i'll just be like um i'm a little pissed off with you give me like 15 minutes i need to walk away I need to clear my head and i'll be okay you know and that, that's generally how it normally works you know except for one ex who'd be like no we're going to talk about this right now because i wanted to pick a fight in the middle of air okay and i just i need to have this fight with you like right now and i'm always like yeah 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 i got it you you pulled your tampon on and you thought your balls would drop but obviously it didn't um <laughs> so um you know it, it would just always be these weird little moments and then it's just I, uh, uh, i'm just i'm blunt i will tell you why i'm angry you know and don't try to pressure me to talk to you when i'm angry like don't it's a war just waiting to happen um but you know but i also expect people to be uh respectful of the other person like, if your feelings change at some point in the relationship, you need to let me know. Like, don't have me going, ah, everything's great, everything's great, everything's good, and then it's not really good, and it's really this, looks like this, but it's really this, like this. Because, you know, this face means behind it, it's really this, so deep down, you're really this, but you'd like to get away because it'll make you do this. You know, like, don't lie to me. Just tell me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. If I got questions, answer them. Because, you know, I do ask questions because, you know, I'm, I'm just very naturally curious. Like, so what happened? Like, you know, I can't help myself, so, like, don't lie to me. Um, but, yeah, it's really weird. And I find, like, these are all the things that I'm terrible at when it comes to dating. I'm also really terrible at listening. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'm terrible at listening. It's usually because I'm thinking about something else, like a music video or what I want to do with my career um or i'm thinking about a video game or i'm playing a video game like i one time went to my ex's house right and <laughs> he's gonna get me for that <laughs> uh, he's not watching so um uh i was actually playing my little game and he was talking to me and i kind of didn't hear him i was just like going to the fridge because you know i'm so like super ghetto ish i like if i can't hold the door because i don't want to put my video game down i use my leg Cause, you know my mom taught me not to put my feet inside the refrigerator so i just use the other body parts so um i'm playing and then like i'm closing it and he's like hello and i'm like i heard you and then he proceeds to kind of like interrupt me a little bit and my gamer reflex getting like okay i say yes baby like it was <laughs> it was terrible and he's looking at me like and i'm like oh boy did something wrong again you know like i'm always in my own little world half the time and a lot of times other people just don't seem to comprehend that um the other reason why i'm terrible at dating is the fact that uh, i've come to realize that all the males i've come across except for one i don't know what he was i don't even think he's from this planet um <laughs> but um uh a lot of the guys that i've come across that i've dated whether it was one date or two dates it doesn't really matter they all have one thing in common they act exactly like my girlfriends, and that scares me. That terrifies me deep down in my soul. Don't do that to me, fellas. Because, you know, when I see you, I go, oh, testosterone. 
He's a male. Maybe he likes to watch a game and drink some beer and just have some fun. All right, cool. Uh-oh. 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 It's a lie. It's a lie. Like, you know, like, don't do that to me. That's not cool. That's not cool. Uh, but yeah, like, it just seems like the other reason why I'm terrible at dating is because I seem to attract the most feminist of men. And it's not even just with lovers. Um, whatever that's supposed to be. Um, it's also with, like, guy friends. Like, a lot of the guy friends that keep coming across, even when I just kind of want to be chummy with them, like, let's be friends! <laughs> Um, they're always like really feminine like and it's just weird because I don't know what to do with it Like don't tell me well, you should know, you know when you're angry with me or you know, just don't do these weird female Female things and you leave me without my badge card. That's not cool. That's not cool. That makes me very unhappy Don't do that. But yeah, I just want to kind of know like um What are the things that you feel like you're that, that, that makes things complex for you when it comes to dating? um and just share with me share with me your crazy stories it's probably, you know, as bad or if it's worse than my I love you story. Like, I love you. Like, I learned real quick that it's not important to say the words in the sense that you mean them. But it's more important to just say the words because it was said. That one still baffles me. But anyways, thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you can click here. And if you'd like to watch the previous episode... That's the other spot you can click. Uh, and that's where I kind of talk about skinny people problems because we do have them. People who aren't skinny people problems, they tend to be like, oh, skinny people don't have problems because you guys are thin. Like, just because we're slim, that means our problems are just as thin as we are. What? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate We're up to 53 subscribers right now at the moment, so I'm actually kind of excited. Um, and I'm looking forward to, like, you know, once I get to that 100, I'm doing a video. I'll give you a hint. Everybody loves Kung Fu Fight. No, it's just, no, it's just me. Thanks for watching. terrible at dating is because a lot of the times um people will look at me and they'll decide how i feel like looking at me like she's quiet i mean she's angry she's upset with me she's bad i must have done something wrong something's happening something's happening something's happening and sometimes it's just easier if you just ask me and generally anyone that i've ever dated you know all these women <laughs> um they never ask me they never ever ask me they always just assume that I'm upset about something or why I'm upset and they kind of just don't listen because they're like, I know why you're mad. And I'm like, no, really, you don't because you just wait a minute because you just wait a minute and I'll tell you why I'm upset. <laughs> Again, because apparently that's a problem if I just say what I'm thinking. I mean, just, who does that?